Well, most parents want what's best for their children, but when those kids are old enough to head off to college, some parents have a hard time letting go. Yeah, academic experts discuss the do's and don'ts that moms and dads need to know about on how to help their young adults have the best shot at a successful college transition. So Fox News' Kevin Uresky has more. Parenting children is no easy task. Even when they grow up and head to college, many still need some guidance from their guardians. But academic experts say there's a fine line parents shouldn't cross when it comes to helping students transition into their freshman year. For the first six weeks of college, if they have a residential student on campus, they really should not bring their student home and they should really avoid visiting if they can. That first six weeks is the critical time for a student to meet people and start engaging in the life of the campus and they just can't do it with a parent who's hovering. According to Dr. Sarah Klein, Vice President for Student Affairs at the Stevens Institute of Technology, college freshmen need to get used to making their own decisions. I think that the best thing a parent can do is be a great listener to their student and let their student direct the process on pretty much everything. The student, once they enroll at a university and make a decision, it really needs to be them as the person making all the decisions. But for parents who find it hard to stop worrying about if their child is making the right choices, Dr. Klein says this is the perfect time for them to make mistakes. You have a safety net of college and all the resources there, and you can make mistakes, and it's not as horrible as when you make mistakes in the real world because we're all there to help them pick up the pieces. Meanwhile, for parents whose kids might call them feeling homesick, picking them up for a weekend away from campus is not recommended. They're just deepening the feelings of homesickness by bringing the student back home. Kevin Uretsky, Fox News.